Привет! Сегодня мы посмотрим в более детали на два литера русского алфавита – «hard sign» и «soft sign». The hard sign is the one with a serif, this little hat on the left side. You'll find out what these letters are, what they sound like, when you're supposed to use them, and what their function is. Or can you just avoid using them at all? So first of all, what do the hard sign and the soft sign sound like in Russian? They sound like this. These letters don't have any sound. They are just signs. That's why it's important to not call them hard and soft sound, because they don't have any. Another common mistake is to call the soft sign a B, because it looks alike. With this, you'll just be throwing yourself off. So why would we need the hard sign and the soft sign at all in Russian? Both of them serve as an apostrophe in Russian and are used instead of one. An apostrophe in some languages indicates that you make a little break in the middle of a word. Though it's not a perfect example, think of such Irish surnames as O'Connor or O'Brien. If there was no apostrophe, you'd pronounce them something like O'Connor, O'Brien, without a break. Hope it makes sense. To understand the role of the hard sign and the soft sign, you gotta think of the way syllables work in Russian. We talked about this in the very first videos of the course. In Russian, there are 10 vowel letters, and here they are in pairs. Now, remember how we broke down these four letters into two sounds each. They all have this Y sound in them. Y, A, make Я. Y, О, make Ё. Y, Э, e, make Е. E, and Y, У, make Ю. If you need, you might want to revisit this video. So you will hear Y if a word starts with one of these four vowels. Я, Ёж, Ель. Or when they follow another vowel. Ма, Я. Ма, Yo, я пою, я слушаю. But when one of them is following a consonant, this y sound will disappear. Compare я, but мя, ня, вя. You're not supposed to hear y in these three syllables. Not мя, but мя. Not ня, but ня. Not Вья, but вя. Once again, я and мя, ня, вя, no y sound. Or е on its own, with the y sound in it, е. But ме, не, ве, no y sound here. I have a whole exercise with different syllables in a separate video. You might find it helpful. Now, let's put a soft sign in between a consonant and a vowel. Let's compare. Мя, мя. The soft sign doesn't allow us to blend the two sounds together, so the y sound in я will reappear. Мя, мя. Ня, ня. Вя, вя. Мё, мё. Не. Yeah. View, view. Is it a big deal whether you hear this U sound or not? Well, in Russian it does make a difference, and sometimes it's a difference of two words. For example, семья, семья, мя, мя, полю, полью, лю, лью. Notice that the consonant stays soft anyway, because equally the vowels from the right column and the soft sign make consonant soft. The hard sign does a very similar thing. It also separates a vowel from a consonant. The difference is that it indicates that the consonant has to stay hard. It may sound confusing, so compare, please. Зия, 
з я. Сьє, сьє, дьо, дьо. Зя, зя, сьє, сьє, дьо, дьо. Сесть, съесть. Се и съе. Семь, съем. Изъян. Подъезд. Объем. Every vowel in a Russian word makes a separate syllable. The hard sign and the soft sign don't make a separate syllable because they don't add any sound. But when these signs are in between a consonant and a vowel, they change the way this vowel behaves. Both the hard sign and the soft sign can follow only a consonant. It means that a word can start with these letters, just like a word can start with an apostrophe, right? And they can't follow a vowel in Russian. I hope it makes sense. Both the hard sign and the soft sign would usually separate a consonant from one of these vowels. And that's when you'll hear the Y sound in them. Only the soft sign indicates that the consonant is soft. The hard sign indicates that the consonant is hard. I hope I've shed some light on this. Today, the soft sign is used in way more words than the hard sign. For example, you'll never see the hard sign at the end of a Russian word. Like, actually it used to be up to the early 20th century. Back then, the hard and the soft signs were called yer and yer. And the hard sign would be very often written in the middle of a word, in between two consonants, or at the end of a word. But at some point, publishers realized that it doesn't do anything and it's just inefficient. And they were wasting a lot of space in papers and books unnecessarily. So today, the only function of the hard sign is to separate a consonant and a vowel. Occasionally, you can also see the hard sign in memes or online comments. And it will mean something that is difficult to put into words or a person that is overwhelmed with emotion or excitement. Now, the soft sign has a wider usage in Russian. You can also see it at the end of a word or in the middle, in between two consonants. It will just indicate that that consonant is soft. Compare, please. M, N, 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 V, V. Without a soft sign, a word would sound differently. For instance, Мель, without a soft sign, would sound as мел. Мель, мел. Угол, угол. Конь, кон. Мать, мат. Шесть, шест. Now let's compare the words with a soft sign in between two consonants. Полька, without a soft sign, would sound as полка. Полька, полка, or банька, банка, and so on. So I guess the bottom line is that you can't ignore or avoid using the hard sign or the soft sign in Russian, for they change the way a word would sound. But there are some words where the soft sign seems kind of excessive and is used just because of tradition. For example, in such verb forms as ты говоришь, ты слушаешь, ты смотришь, the soft sign at the end of a word doesn't make ш soft. Remember, in Russian, there are three consonants that never turn soft, no matter what follows them. They are immune to softness. It's ж, ш, and ц. Говоришь, despite of a soft sign at the end, will never sound as говоришь. 
It's only говори ш. Hard ш. It's never лишь, only лишь. Мыш, ложь, never ложь. And on the opposite side, the letters ч and ш in Russian are always soft already. So naturally, if we see a soft sign after them, it doesn't add more softness. Compare, please. Вещь, борщ. It doesn't matter whether we have a soft sign or not. Ш is always soft. It never sounds as a hard ш. Only a soft ш. Помощь, плащ. Sounds the same. And the same way, ч doesn't ever sound as a hard ч. Only as a soft ч. Ночь, мелочь, or плач. Sounds the same. Whether there is a soft sign or not, ч and ш will sound the same. The soft sign after these letters doesn't make any difference in pronunciation. And only is there because of tradition. And another example of where you don't read the soft sign would be verbs that end with т, ся. I've already said many times that in Russian the letters т and с next to each other blend into a ц. So you'll always read such endings as ца. So that's it. Let me know if you've ever had any difficulties with reading these two letters and whether you have a little clearer picture now. На сегодня все. Скоро увидимся.